Hi. It's uh, Bill Wilson here, Midwest Permaculture. We teach the uh, permaculture course. It's a large body of work, 72 hour mm -hmm. curriculum. It comes with some pre-training material as well. But the purpose of the course is to learn how to practically live on the planet, how to build houses, how to harvest water, how to use your wastewater, how to grow food. You know, it's all about how do you uh, care for yourself and have an, enough surplus that you can actually care for others if you need to. But it's even a little more than that. It's also about how do we as, you know, we live our one lifetime. Is there a way that we can live our life in such a way that we actually have left the planet in a little better condition than when we arrived? It's absolutely possible to do that. But we live in a culture that doesn't do that. We live in a culture that basically consumes and does a lot of damage and a lot of pollution. So how do we reverse that? How do we flip that? And somewhere in those good books out there somewhere, they talk about being created in the image and likeness of the creator, which to me says, well, then we're creative beings as well. And we can create beauty, wonder, abundance, and security for ourselves and others. That's the work of permaculture and permaculture design. It's like, well, we got to do something with our day. Let's create beauty and wonder instead of just consuming and being unconscious. Uh, I'm down here working in our old apple orchard. This is an orchard that was put in 50 years ago and some of the trees are really hurting. But instead of just letting it disappear um, and, or just having an, or, an, an orchard of just apples, you know, it's a two acre orchard, we were thinking, why don't we convert this over time into a food forest? So instead of having just apples, there'll be maybe 25 different edible species down here in the coming years. So if, if this makes any sense to you, if this resonates, I'd love to see you. I'd love to meet you. And uh, we'll go through this curriculum. Um, most people who've gone through it say it pretty much, it blew their mind. <laughs> blew my mind. I took that course almost 20 years ago. And because of that, I felt like we needed to share it in the Midwest. So that's what Becky and I have been doing for 17 years. And if it makes sense to you, I'd love to meet you. I'd love to have you.